Who famously said, that's one small step for man, a giant leap for mankind? Neil Armstrong. Yeah. JFK. <laughs> Neil Armstrong. What company produces the game Monopoly? Hasbro. Yeah. What restaurant is famous for Bloomin' Onion? Uh, Outback. Second oh, house. Oh, no. Yeah. Give me any of the food. I was like, Australian Outback. No. <laughs> Who is the 35th president of the United States? Clinton. Um, 35th. Is that Barack Obama? Is that longer ago? Mm. Grover Cleveland. JFK. JFK. <laughs> two to two. <laughs> two to two. <laughs> Who was the most notorious mobster in Chicago? Al Capone. Hi. What's the freezing point of water in Fahrenheit? 35 degrees. 32 no, degrees. 10. 32 oh, degrees. Dang it. What kind of electricity is used in modern homes? Modern. What? A normal. What? Kilowatt. <laughs> There's only two main types of electricity. Kilowatt. I don't uh, know. I don't know. I'm just going to. Things that run through the courts. Uh, it's a- AC. Alternating current. Okay, I was like, I don't know. <laughs> As opposed to DC. Yeah, I was like, what? What team did Shaq play for the longest? Lakers. Lakers. How long does it currently take to travel to the moon? 35 years. One light year. A, 35 the, light years. One. You think the moon is one light year away? <laughs> one million ten, light years. Ten light years away. Are you, you wait, must, wait, it can't be ten. Uh, two days. Close five to, days. A stop, week. Stop screaming. Five days. Six days. Four now days. You know what I three days. I'm just gonna... Yes. You really thought it was a light year away? Ten light years away? I don't know. I'm dumb when it comes to space. <laughs> That would mean we've never traveled to the moon. Why? Why? How long is a light year? Um, 5.88 trillion miles mm. is one light year. Well, I don't know how far away the moon is. You think the moon is over five trillion, almost six trillion miles away? I don't know. Space is big. <laughs> General location. Where is the largest volcano located? Hawaii. Hawaii. So Rachel say, gets two and a half. And Roxanne one gets and a half. one and a half. Yeah. For people who are actually watching this on YouTube, as you as you can tell, it looks like I'm shooting a hostage video. Because he is. <laughs> we put him in a hostage situation. She, They put me in a hostage situation, and that's because we're actually in the same room today. We were riddled with technical difficulties. Yes, a lot of technical difficulty. Yeah. So if you actually see me not looking at you guys and looking over this way, because I'm actually looking at them. <laughs> yeah, well, we, can do it we hate long intros, so get right into it. Okay. Are you guys ready to get get into the real round? Yeah. <laughs> the last three games, I started with Rachel. I mean, no, yeah. I started with Rachel. So now it's Roxanne. So now I guess it's Roxanne. Roxanne. Uh, finally. This is my comeback. I know, seriously. And just for a recap, uh, Rachel does lose a lifeline, so <gasps> Roxanne. I'm going to say my tried and true, you're losing your phone a friend. Jack knows too much. We already know he's, she's calling you. Sucker. Round one, general. Knowledge. It just says general, though. It's general know, knowledge. Round one, general knowledge. Good job. What states, what three states does Louisiana border? This is general knowledge, and I'm so annoyed. <laughs> Louisiana. 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 I don't look around, make sure there's no maps in here. I know, literally. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say Oklahoma, Alabama, Kansas. And Kansas? Final answer. Wrong. Yeah. What is it? It is Arkansas. Dang it. Arkansas. Arkansas to the north, Mississippi to the east, oh. and Texas to the west. See, I was like Texas, but then I was thinking Oklahoma. Rachel, are you ready for your first question? Yes. What TikTok group is Kristen Cavallari's new 24-year-old boyfriend, Mark Estes? Mark Estes, a part of? Mm. I don't know, because I'm not on TikTok that much. Crank house? <laughs> Bunch of drugs. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're just making crank calls. Oh, 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 that's fine. Crank that. wankers. What was that show? Yeah. Crank yankers. Crank yankers. Crank, crank wankers. Crank wankers. Hey, that was probably a different show. <laughs> Cranking it that was out. probably a different show. How funny that we both did states. Like, technically. What? <laughs> just gave her a huge. <laughs> I mean, that doesn't, it narrows it down to 50 things. Yeah. Um, okay, then I'm going to do uh, Tennessee House. Final answer. Oh, that's very fair. Oh. Uh. It's the Montana boys. Okay, yeah. With I wasn't going to get it. I wasn't going to get yeah, it. Yeah, Montana. They're all over TikTok. What's that noise? The air? No, every time I hear like a really loud plane, I think that we're in war. <laughs> Same. That's, that's reasonable. Right? I get like no. It's I get not. I get like Pearl Harbor flashbacks. I wasn't even there. <laughs> I thought it was like flashbacks. You like running? <laughs> Round two, 
Music. Okay. Roxanne. Yes. Which artist released the album Man on the Moon in 2009? Oh, um, Kid Cudi. Final answer. Ding, 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 ding. I love that album. Rachel. Yeah. What is the title of this song by Michelle Branch? If you want to, I can save you. I can take you away from here. So lonely inside. So busy out there. I can take you away from here. So lonely inside, so crazy out there. All I wanted was somebody who cared. Na, 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 na. Oh my god, what is that song called? I'm trying to think if I want to use my hint already. Yeah, I'll use it. Okay. Just give um, me like another line. Well, it's funny because you already said it, and all you wanted was somebody who cares. All you wanted was somebody who cares. If you need me, you know I'll be there. Yeah. Oh, oh, whoa, yeah. All right, well, I guess somebody who cares, final answer. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> All you wanted. All you were you saying wanted. it. I gave it, like, I didn't realize I kind of, you, like, got it after you said, like, the last one. All you wanted was somebody. So, all you want. Oh, I was never going to get there. <laughs> but you know the song. <laughs> I do know the song. Round three. Movies. Movies. Why can I hear all this spit in your mouth? You're way too close. It's like... Ow. Oh, not really. Um, it's ASMR. I think even our mics pick that up. I know who will... Rachel's going to kill herself. Do we have like a branch? This. Oh, this. Yeah, this. Yeah. I freaking hate those makeup videos when they're like... I do like... Like certain ASMR videos do hit. Anyways. Ew, no. Roxanne. This 1994 film, directed by Robert Zemeckis, ran away with six Academy Awards, including Best Picture. Ran away. I feel like that might be a hint. I was a wee lad. I was one <laughs> years old. I was six months, probably. <laughs> Depending on what part of the year. Ooh, Lifeline. Which one? I'm going to call Kai. Ah, <laughs> farts. Yeah, he's gonna get this. Yeah, Ty is our it. friend that knows if all. If he doesn't, he knows he every best picture he from loses. any year. It's nine nineteen on Wednesday. Kai, Kai, you're my lifeline. <laughs> okay, I need you. Can you show the camera? I'm in. I'm in class. I just have to step oh my god, you're the. Wait, wait, really quick. You're the best. What nineteen ninety four picture won best picture, and directed by who? And Robert Zemeckis. Yes. Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump. Final answer. That is absolutely correct. Woo! I love you. Sorry. Go back to class. You're the best. I'll buy you a beer. Bye. Love you. Bye. <laughs> All right. Peace out. Bye. <laughs> he, did, he even knew the director. He's like Robert Zemeckis. Yeah, yeah he was literally. Robert Zemeckis. <laughs> Dang, now you're beating me. See, these bonus points don't even help me. She's already beating you? Mm hmm. Because she's gotten two right and I've gotten zero. We well, have one more. Oh, yeah. But she's around yeah, ahead, ahead of you. Yeah. Okay, Rachel, you really gave this as a question? Yeah. You're being way too nice. I don't know. G- give me the question. Ask- yeah, why'd you say that? Just don't, you can't comment on it, Luke, until after. Uh, who wrote the screenplay for Rocky? Oh, Sylvester <laughs> Stallone. <laughs> Final answer. No. Yeah, it is. It was his brother. It was, okay, it was definitely not Frank. <laughs> it was Sly. Um, I worked on the Stallone's reality show and I had never seen Rocky. So in between season one and two, I decided to watch Rocky. That way when I went back for season two, I had actually seen it. And fun fact, that is the first on-air show that both of us have a credit together. Yeah. Right? It's the only one where our name is. There are two Tuzians in the credits. Yeah. Wow. Isn't that um, And he wrote it in three days. Oh, wow. I actually didn't know that part. Yeah. <laughs> Round four. Television. Okay. TV. Which show has had its third season indefinitely postponed and has rumors surrounding it that it may never return? Two it's in like three words. Oh, Too many it's. Three. Oh. Three fudge sickles. Okay. Euphoria. It's either Euphoria or White Lotus. And I just like... Do I look better like this? No. What about this? Hold on. No. You don't like my plastic surgery nose? I really hate that. Oh my god, it's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> How many seasons are there of Euphoria? I want to say there's three. I'm going to go with... I'm going to go White Lotus. Final answer. 
You talked yourself out of it, Rox. It's Euphoria. It's Euphoria. Mm. Oh, I knew it. Okay, yeah. when you said, I think there's three seasons of Euphoria, I was like, did I write this wrong? I literally just no, over I li- looked it up. <laughs> no, I literally cannot. I was like, it's I'm been sorry. too long that I was like, I feel... I was she like, hit there's her face, only, She was like... I was like, there's only, <laughs> there's only two seasons. I watched... I feel like there's so many episodes. I guess they're long episodes. Rachel. Written by Roxanne. I gotta say at least once an episode. What man with a quirky delivery who later played the mayor on Family Guy, portrayed Batman on the relatively silly TV show that aired from 1966 to 1968. Mayor Adam West. Final answer. I am so proud of you for knowing that. Although technically his name isn't Mayor, but yes. Okay. Huge Family Guy. So I would have been, I was like, this is probably like handing it to her because you guys, yeah. But I was like. I have force fed Family Guy down her throat. Yeah, so. I've seen every episode. At least once, if not more. Round five, food, snacks, and drink. Which cereal brand's mascots' names are Cinnamon and Apple? Um, Cinnamon and Apple? Is it going to be like straight up like Apple Jacks? Like, would that be dumb? I'm just going to go for it. Apple Jacks, final answer. You got it, dude. Yay! <laughs> I was like, ugh! I felt like the, the air in the room got... <laughs> I was like, why is it his name Apple? That's dumb. Wait, did you leave? Oh, you left the fact for this one. Yeah. <clears throat> if you will. They've only been the mascot since 2004 and have already undergone many redesigns. That's not that great of a factoid. <laughs> well, they've only been the mascot since 2004. Yeah. So if anyone happens to remember before that, it was like some kids or something. True question. Do you put your cereal or milk first? Yeah. Cereal. Cereal first. Only oh, a I've seen monsters first. put milk first. You are monsters. You do that. Yeah. You hear it here first. Do you drink your cereal milk? Yes, yes oh, absolutely. Yeah. Especially when I used to put sugar in it. Did, although cereal yes. gives me such bad stomach aches. I haven't had it in like years. <laughs> Rachel, what is the oldest soft drink in America? That's a clean question. Nice and clean. I mean, my... Easy to read. The straightforward answer would be Coca-Cola. Is that too easy? Is it not that? Is it Pepsi for some reason? This could be wrong, but I'm going to go with my fave, my fave and just go Coca-Cola. Final answer. Mm. It was Pepsi? No, it was neither. Oh, shit. What was it? I'm going to give you one more guess, knowing Roxanne. What do you think it is? Oh, it's Dr. Pepper? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. Dr. Pepper's the oldest? Here And here is the factoid that she left me. Mm-hmm. Us. I would have never guessed Dr. Dr. Pepper. Pepper. Originally made in Morrison's Old Corner Drugstore in Waco, Texas, the drink's unique flavor was a hit when it was first sold in 1885. Round six, dealer's choice. Which country artist's first album was titled Traveler? Okay, I want to, I'm going to use my hint. Lifeline. Do you want me to give it? I can give a couple hints. Um, Go with the medium one. Don't go with the easy one I know you want to give. Okay, this is, I think a medium hit. Hint. Okay. Uh, he is known for having a very large beard. Willie Nelson? I'm going to go Chris Stapleton. It gets hot in here. It's only warm in here because you're okay. in here. I'm usually very... Like, okay. Chill. Chris Stapleton, final answer. Ding, 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 ding. Yay. See, that was a good hint. The easy hint was Tennessee whiskey. Yeah, no shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but one. you know what's funny? I have I like don't listen to Chris Stapleton that much. That's why I was like... Smooth. But he's the only one that has a big beard. Yeah. Let me see your whiskey. Yeah. You were sweet. <laughs> Strawberry wine. You were sweet. Well. <laughs> I don't remember what I put for that. Your turn. Do the run. A glass of brandy. No, do the you were sweet. I can't hit that. Hit the Neither can I. Run. I just did it. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I hit it. What food inspired the shape of the video game character Pac-Man? This feels like it would be pizza. Only because when you take a slice out of pizza, it looks just like Pac-Man with his mouth open. I don't know if that's right. Um, um, I'm going to go with pizza, final answer. But why not cheese? Oh, a cheese wheel? F- it's pizza. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, punk. Uh... The pizza. The idea of Pac-Man was taken from both the image of a pizza with a slice removed. That's what I said. And from rounding out the Japanese symbol, it means mouth, 
The character was made to be cute and colorful to appeal to younger players, particularly women. Yeah. Because oh, the girls don't really like video games, I'm guessing. Round seven. T constructed. T constructed? Deconstructed. There you go. Deconstructed. Deconstructed. Nay. Yes, Roxanne first. Me. Your three point clue. See. In medieval Europe, this uh-huh. creature symbolized purity and grace, but it was also often used to represent wildness and freedom. Okay. S- two point clue, please. Two point clue. This is the national animal of Scotland. Oh, it's a unicorn. Final answer. I knew that should be the one point clue. Is I that, knew is it. Is that easier, really? No, I, knew I it. just gave this as a thing on Broken Brilliant. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just. Is that where you got inspired for this question from no, Roxanne? I got inspired from ChatGPT. <laughs> but literally, I just gave this. Clue. So what's the score right now? Seven point five. Five point five. Five point five. So I have to get the two point clue you to have tie. To get at least on the two to tie it. Yeah. Okay. This activity was developed in Munchen Gladbach. Munchen Gladbach, Germany. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I thought you. It's didn't. a really complicated word, as Roxanne loves to give me, but she actually like. I I did it. I like literally said how to pronounce <laughs> <laughs> and put it in. I feel like it's a pretty famous it's activity from Munchen Gladbach. Like Oktoberfest or some sort of game with Lederhosen. Lederhosen. But I I'll take the two point clue, please. It was based on these three principles: breath, whole body health. And whole body commitment. Okay, now it's definitely an exercise. So it's yoga or Pilates? And it's not yoga. But Pilates, I thought, was made by the guy, the Legree guy. Well, I have to guess on this. So yeah, I'm going to go with Pilates, final answer. I'll give you the final. Um, oh, I was wrong. Point clue. The creator's name was Joseph Pilates. Oh, so it was Pilates. Yeah. Nice. How come whenever Roxanne wins, she just outright wins? And whenever Rachel wins, it's usually through a tie breaker? <laughs> I like the competition to come down to the wire. <laughs> um, so funny. So once again, as always, it's the closest. I don't care about going over. I don't, you know. Are we no, writing it down? No price is right. Tie breaker. What is the approximate square footage of the White House? 11,868. 20,000. Rachel is closer. Okay. The... Total square footage of the White House is 55,000 square feet even. White wow. It's, wait, it's huge. Well, yes. see, I've heard people say it's not as big as they thought it was. It that's has 132 like... rooms, so that's... 35 bathrooms, 412 doors, and 100, 147 windows, 28 fireplaces, 8 staircases, 3 elevators, 5 full-time chefs, a tennis court, a single-lane bowling alley, and movie theater. So the reason why they probably think it's not as big is because they don't see I was just going to say, yeah. the only reason that I guessed 20,000, which is still way the f*** under, was because on... Madam Secretary, they talk about how there's 200 rooms in the White House. And I was like, if 200 rooms are 10 by 10 spaces. 132 rooms. Right, but close enough. So that means Roxanne has broke, lost her streak. Oh, finally, I can win again. My God. Rachel wins off a tiebreaker again. I know. And who went first? A weird. No, I did. I mean, Roxanne. This is a weird pattern. So now, Rachel, next week. You get to choose which one of Roxanne's lifelines. Oh my so. gosh. I finally win one with stakes. We didn't say that I'll we had stakes what. this episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you hear that? Oh, no, no, no. We gotta get out of here. It's hot here. Today. Okay, yeah. and on that note, um, subscribe, follow, rate us, give us a like. Stay smart, not broke. Bye. Bye. Bye.